वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एंड मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन हाउ टू फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ एन आई सेक्शन ओके नाउ इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाउ टू फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वी हैव टू एस्टेब्लिश ओके लेट मी राइट हियर step 1 is what we have to draw the axis of reference okay axis of reference it tells you about what you want to find the center of gravity all right to find we have to know some relative to axis so let me draw some axis here let us say this is x axis x axis and let us say this is the y axis okay this is y axis now you know the center of gravity have two components right x bar and y bar we have to find both of them now x bar is the distance of the center of gravity of the whole system from the y axis okay and y bar is the distance of center of gravity of the whole system from the x axis now let's begin with what let's begin with the x bar okay let's begin with the x bar we know x bar is summation of ai xi divided by a right now the step second is divide whole body or surface into elements okay elements such that there area is easy to find okay now you have to divide the whole of this i section into the elements okay sub elements such that their area is easy okay now how, if i ask you the question uh, divide this how are you going to divide it such that the area of each element you have divided is easy to find can you try now see i can divide it into three rectangles this is one rectangle why i choose the rectangle because area of rectangle is easy to find right area of rectangle is if this is l and this is b so the area of rectangle is l multiplied by b because the area is easy to find so i am dividing it into this okay now this is one element this is second element from here to here okay and this is another third element okay from here to here right now we have three elements 1 2 and 3 so this uh, formula will expand into a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 Whole divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3, right? Because a is the total area, and the total area of this i section is of course the area of this element plus this element plus this element. Okay, where a1 is, this is one. A1 is the area of this element. Okay, x1 is distance of <coughs> of distance of the uh, center of gravity of element one. Okay, from y axis. A2 is area of second element and x2 is distance of center of gravity of second element okay x2 means cg of second element from y axis okay i can show it right here <clears throat> see now from here to here if you divide it into half so it is going to be from okay 
from here to here is x1 right this is x1 right from the center of this now where is the x2 x2 is from this to y axis right because this is the reference axis and x3 is from this up to this point right this is x2 and this is x3 now how much is the value of x1 <clears throat> now see from here to here is 10 it means from this point to this point is 5 right 10 half of the 10 is 5 so from here to here is 5 right plus this empty space we have to add this more space right that would be the distance from this to y axis right <clears throat> now we know from here to here is 5 now how much is this now see the total length of this element 1 is 10 and the total length of element element 3 is 20 okay it means it is like if I draw something like this okay from here to here it is 10 right 10 centimeter why because this is 10 so this is 10 and the total is 20 so how much is left how much is this and this 20 minus 10 is 10 okay so th this plus this empty and this empty is 10 okay and this is a symmetric figure it means this this much is 5 centimeter right from here to here is 5 right so from here to here is 5 okay so how much is x1 total 5 plus 5 is 10 okay so this x1 is 10 now a1 a1 is area of this how much is the area of a1 this is 10 multiplied by the thickness is the thickness of it is 2 right so 10 multiplied by 2 is how much 20 right this is 20 centimeter square now a2 is how much a2 is from here to here is 15 15 and the thickness is 2 so 15 multiplied by 2 is 30 30 centimeter square and how much is x2 x2 is from here the center of from here to the y axis right now from he from here to here x2 and this x3 is same right if this is x1 is 10 so x2 is also 10 and x3 is also 10 right this is also 10 and x3 is also 10 and how much is a3 a3 is 20 multiplied by 2 is 40 centimeter square okay now a1 a much is how much 20 a2 is how much 30 right and a3 is 40 okay now when you swallow this you will get 10 centimeter okay so we get x x bar is equal to 10 centimeter right so we found the one component of the center of gravity okay now let's find the another component and for that let me erase all of this now let's find the y component okay y component is again what because i have divided it into three elements one two and three so it is going to be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay if you don't know this please watch the previous lecture you will find where i get this formula okay now anyways i know a1 a2 and a3 i know a1 is how much 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 a2 is how much 15 multiplied by 2 is 30 and a3 is how much 20 multiplied by 2 is 40 now <clears throat> let's talk about y1 y2 and y3 
okay now y1 is the distance of this okay uh, the cg of element 1 from the x reference axis and the reference axis is this so of course i have to find the distance from here to here okay this is y1 okay now y2 is from the center of element 2 to the x axis right so it's like the center of it is here center of element 2 is here right and y2 is going from going to be from here to here it is y2 right and y3 is from the center of element 3 the total is 2 from here to the here is 2 right so from the center to this point is 1 right half of 2 so i will write here y3 is 2 centimeter divided by 2 is equal to 1 centimeter now how much is y1 see y1 is from midpoint of this much is from here to here is 2 right but it is from midpoint so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so here is 1 here is 1 right this is 1 and all of this all of the length of the element 2 is 15 right 15 15 and all of the 2 because y x ref, x axis is the base of the element 3 right so it's from here to here is 2 right so it is 15 plus 1 is 16 16 plus 2 is how much 18 right so y1 is 18 centimeter right and the y3 y3 i know is one centimeter and y2 is how much y2 is uh, the half of the length of element 2 it is 15 so it is 15 by 2 right from here to here right is 15 by 2 and from here to here is how much 2 right so it is 15 by 2 plus 2 now 15 by 2 is 7.5 plus 2 8 9 it is 9.5 5 centimeter so y2 is 9.5 centimeter now when we put all of these values here a120 y1 18 y2 30 y2 9.5 a3 40 and y3 is 1 here we put a1 as what 20 a2 as 30 a3 as 40 okay now when you solve all of this you will get y bar to be 7.61 centimeter okay so here we find y bar to be 7.61 centimeter so we find the x bar and we find the y bar okay so x bar and y bar it gives us the location of the center of gravity of this i section right okay now <clears throat> here is a trick too okay here is a trick and before i tell you the trick i want to tell you don't worry about writing all of this i have provided the pdf of this video lecture in the description or in the comments you will find there download the pdf from there and in this class only try to understand the steps okay now let me tell you the trick okay before that i have to erase all of this okay now let me tell you the trick now see first of all check the symmetry okay symmetry now you can see this i section if you draw uh, first of all let's guess the center of gravity okay see the center of gravity is of i section is in the midpoint okay if this is a section if 
I want to I want to ask you what where is the center of gravity you will guess you will say it is symmetric so it is at the geometric center here okay in the same way it is here of these two it is somewhere somewhat here and of these three it is somehow here okay if you draw a line joining all of these pointers center of gravity of all of these pointers okay like this you will see <coughs> this i section is symmetric about the y axis right it is symmetric about it is about uh, not y axis y axis is this let us call this as vertical axis all right now this is symmetric about the vertical axis so you don't have to find the x bar okay x bar numerically okay because the it is the distance of this line because it is passing through the cg of all the elements this vertical line so the distance from of this from the y axis this is the x bar okay now how much is x bar here now see from here to here it is 20 and half of 20 is from here to here right from here to here is how much half of 20 is 10 centimeter so it is 10 centimeter you don't have to apply this formula a1 x1 plus all of that okay a1 plus a2 no just know the symmetry because this is you just found the cgs of element one of the cg of element two you guess it because it is symmetric so of course it will be at the geometric center and element three it will be here right join the line and you see this is now this part is the mirror image of this part right so it is symmetric about the vertical axis that's why you found the x bar just like this you don't use this okay now let us check the uh, symmetry of this about the horizontal axis okay now if you draw an axis like uh, where is going to be the center i will guess it is going to be something like this now you will see this part is not symmetrical to this part right because element one is smaller than element three so they are not the mirror images of each other the symmetry is not there so you will only find the y component okay y component using a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 whole divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 right so x bar you know just know big by the symmetry it is 10 centimeter right half of the 20 and this y bar 7.61 you found with this formula so that's it for today's class and of course if you want the pdf it is in the description and if you have any problems please contact me i will help you and i also offer uh, one on one tutoring if you want to learn from me please contact me for that and that's it for today's class see you in the next class thank you